Hello, beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel, Starkeology Tarot. I am Desi. I will be your Starkeologist, aka Tarot Reader, for this September reading. Just want to get some divine messages to you guys, tell you what's up, what's going on in other planes here for you, uh, what's in the 5D that needs to manifest in the 3D for you right now. Um, give you guidance, help align you with your highest self, your highest path, your highest good. Um, what resonates is what is meant for you, what doesn't is not. If you have liked, subscribed, engaged with this channel in any way, I so appreciate you. You are such an important part of this community. For those of you who have become patrons of mine, I love you, thank you. You are helping me continue this work and provide this service for you. If you haven't considered becoming a patron, check out that link below. I am, I built a, I, I built, I built a Patreon. I built a Patreon um, so that I can do more intensive, in-depth, diverse readings for the Starkeology Tarot community. Um, if you look forward to your astrological reading each month, please become a patron because those are only available every single month on my Patreon. Here on YouTube, I rotate um, what signs um, are posted each month, so you won't have access to all 12 signs each month if you're not a patron. Um, and then beyond that, there are moon transit readings, daily card pulls, um, pick a pile readings, uh, just spontaneous live readings that I hope to be doing with my patrons and engaging in that way. Also, more customized readings uh, for individuals are available at the higher tiers. Um, you know, asking a question each month with a card pull, an in-depth, uh, full one-hour tarot reading each month for for my third tier patrons. Um, but at the very least, if you really support the work that I'm doing here, it would mean so much just to become a first tier patron. It's only $8 a month. It's very affordable and it will help me to continue this work and make it even better for you. So thank you in advance. Okay, Virgo, with that, let's jump into your September reading. Wow, Virgo, what a month. Oh my God, the, the theme here, wow, this is very interesting. So many good things happening. I don't even know where to start. The High Priestess, Two of Cups, um, Nine of Pentacles, and then the Five of Wands was at the bottom of the deck. Um, I wanna start by saying, don't be intimidated by conflict this month. This conflict means nothing. It is, it is only serious if you take it seriously. So don't, it doesn't have to be a big deal. In fact, it's almost just like, it's like boys playing with toy swords. It's like, um, we're doing this for practice. We're doing this to make our voices heard, to, to advocate for our positions, to, you know, be the loudest one in the room, just for the joy of wanting to be heard and seen and understood. Um, that really is what this is about for you this month. You might come up against some opposition. You might come up against some um, someone in conflict with you or feeling even like the world is in conflict with you or things aren't going your way in some way. Um, but it's nothing to discourage you. It really is not. It's on, It's like... This is a natural part of figuring out what it is you actually want. Because you sometimes need to be faced up against things that you don't want in order to be able to recognize what you do. And I'm sensing that a lot with you this month. High Priestess is in your recent past, so you're coming off a time um, of some sort of waking up to some subconscious wisdom information something um you're either coming off like some of you i'm hearing are coming off a pretty psychic time in your life like you've been things have been synchronizing for you in a way that it's almost scary like um the the way things are aligning it's like oh that's i'm something is trying to communicate with me it's my higher self it's my subconscious 
Um, it's that deep, deep part of me uh, that we often keep locked away because it is the most divine part of ourselves and it's overwhelming as humans in human bodies, I think, sometimes to experience that divine expansiveness that is housed within all of us. It's, it feels almost impossible, miraculous, to really hold space for that. You are realizing that a lot of this wisdom comes from a very deep part of you. It's, it's coming not from other people. It's not coming from other people trying to convince you of things. It's coming from you. It's coming from this voice in you that is God, however you want to define that. There's also things in your subconscious coming to light, like meaning coming to conscious awareness. Um, you know, things recently have come from your subconscious into conscious awareness for you. Um, like light bulbs going off, like, oh my God, I just had this huge download about myself or about that event or this person or what happened here um, or why this pattern exists for me or what I really want, you know, there it, these light bulb moments, and that's what your view have come off of recently in the past. A lot of awake, awakening going on for you. And you're finding yourself now in communion. I'm seeing like a relationship that you're in right now where this new self-awareness is really proving to be quite healing in this new relationship. Maybe it's an old relationship, it's a reconnection. And it doesn't have to be either, you know, even romantic, but it could be a friendship that you are really just finding refuge in. Deep connection, um, real spiritual connection with someone. And um, it's funny because this relationship for others of you, this may be where the conflict is lying. The conflict may be lying in this relationship in this union that is not necessarily what it needs um or sorry that does not necessarily need to spell trouble and maybe that's the recent awareness you have it's a recent awareness about the nature of relationship of connecting to another human being and understanding that conflict not all conflict is bad in fact, some conflict is very good. It's very important. It's a, it's a learning opportunity. Um, and I'm seeing that really affecting this union that you're experiencing with this other person. For those of you who are already partnered, this can be, you know, your partner too. This is like perhaps a new phase in your relationship, one where maybe arguments are coming up or, um, old conflicts are coming up and you're seeing them with a new light because of this or in a new light because of this new awareness that you have this new self-awareness that really indicates such growth when you're no longer the focus is no longer on trying to control your partner but rather looking at yourself and saying what can i control about myself how can i be different in this relationship because a and b equals c but if you change just a you don't get c anymore so there can be b they could be doing nothing but if you become d d plus b it's not gonna it's not gonna equal c anymore that's gonna equal a different outcome and that's what you are you know some of you i think might be realizing and living right now what I love is that what's in your recent, in your near future, the Nine of Pentacles, is a card of success and certainty. It's about feeling achievement, feeling success, because you felt resolute in your decisions, even if they were unpopular, even if logically something didn't make sense, but you just knew, like, I have to do this, or I have to choose that, I need to push through this. Um, you honored what you felt a sense of certainty about, even if the rationale wasn't there yet to back it up. So what you will experience, what I see you experiencing, Virgo, is this sense of certainty, like basking in the success and achievement, whatever you, whatever this situation is teaching you. You come out of it feeling like, I did exactly what I needed to do. And 
that makes this successful. That's what makes something successful. Not how it looks on the outside, um, not whether it, you know, you stayed together or broke up. Like it's, it's not as simple as that. It's about gut certainty. There's also something nine of pentacles about sacrificing and the role that sacrifice or compromise plays in ultimate abundance um, of getting the things that you want of being successful, of achieving, and, and understanding that compromise and sacrifice is not loss. Like, compromise and sacrifice actually can be steps to experiencing this kind of achievement. And so there might be some sort of compromise, sacrifice happening in this current situation with you. Thanks to your recent um, awareness you know, whatever your, your recent awakening, your newfound um, inner wisdom, you're able to navigate this current situation differently than you might have in the past. And that's what maybe makes you think about sacrifice and compromise in a different way, which makes you successful in a way that maybe you haven't been successful in relationships, in friendships, in whatever in the past. Um, this is really cool, Virgo. I'm, I'm excited for you. I think that this is su such a positive, um, potentially such a positive month for you. I would love to hear how this looks specifically for you. Feel free to comment below and share if you wanna share your heart with me. Um, it's a safe space to do that. If you haven't liked or subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you wanna just check out my Patreon, it would mean the world to me. Um, only $8 a month to be a first tier patron and you get access to all 12 astrological readings every single month, as well as so much other tarot content that will continue to grow the more patrons I get. And I have more resources and time to be able to vote to that. And then also other tiers that are more personalized for individual readings for people who really want monthly personal support. So I hope I see you over there. Regardless, thank you for being part of the Starkeology Tarot community. I love you. I am rooting for you, and I will see you next time.